But let's look at the facts. Since 1986, Congress has passed over 230 new or expanded penalties for drug and criminal offenses in this United States. 230 new penalties. And these penalties range from an automatic five years in jail for any person caught with a, uh, with a, with a rock of uh, crack cocaine, a piece of crack cocaine as small as a quarter. I don't have a quarter with me, but if you visualize what one looks like, yeah, I do have a quarter. If you have a piece of crack cocaine, no bigger than this quarter that I'm holding in my hand, one quarter of one dollar, we passed a law through the leadership of Senator Thurman and myself and others, a law that says if you're caught with that, you go to jail for five years. You get no probation, you get nothing other than five years in jail. Judge doesn't have a choice. Now, the fact of the matter is, we've gone from there all the way up to saying, under the leadership of Senator Thurman, and I'd like to suggest that I take some small credit for it myself as well, and others, the presiding officer, that there is now a death penalty. And we passed it a couple years ago. If you are a major drug dealer involved in the trafficking of drugs and murder results in your activities, you go to death. And a number of other severe penalties. We changed the law so that if you are arrested and you are a drug dealer, under our forfeiture statutes, you can, the government can, take everything you own, everything from your car to your house, your bank account, not merely what they confiscate in terms of the dollars from the transaction that you just got caught engaging in. They can take everything. We have laws in the last several years where we don't allow judges discretion to sentence people. Flat time sentencing. You get caught, you go to jail. 